Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, neither any of these blokes were going through the tears in today's epic extravaganza. That's right, unless I stuff, stuff something up, there's going to be five Ace Tanker replays in one video. That's right, it's an epic extravaganza, you don't see that too many. Now I'm not sure how long we're going to be doing these extravaganzas for, but I tell you right, at this stage there's no sign of slowing down. Kicking us off is Lisai, Lisai from PvK Clan, one of the clans that have been going around for a, going for a a very, very a longer than I've been in the game for. I'm sure they've been going for longer than I've been in the game. PB CAC, they're on. They're, I think they're on all the servers as well, which is a bit of an achievement. Lee Sai in the SU 76. Is it L? 76L or 76I? I'm not too sure, but he's just blown apart one of those BT-7 artillery tanks. A tier 3 uh, premium Russian medium tanks, I think. Medium, but it, or lights, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, we're on Himmelsdorf. Uh, we're on Himmelsdorf, uh, winning 3-1. And he's in this bad boy, the SU-76L or I. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have researched this before I um, before I, before I went into it. Somebody's capping, though. There's a PZ, PZ-1C, Panzer-1C. One of those tanks that you see in, in, in races a lot. 1AR shenanigans, Panzer-1Cs. They're absolutely fantastic. He just rolled over the cap. You can see him on the minimap back there uh, running away now. The M2 light tank now going for the cap. 4-3 is the score. Tell me about the gun, Stewie. It's a 76. 6 millimeter gun at tier 3. Uh, 110 alpha damage, which that's 110 alpha damage at tier 3 doesn't look too bad as he looks towards the Panzer 1C. Auto aim shoots and misses. 110 alpha damage, 86 penetration with standard, 102 with premium. Of course, there's an HE option for 156 uh, alpha damage for 38 penetration. 38 penetration is probably not too bad at this tier. 5 4 is the score. There's the, uh, there's the light tank going on the cap. He goes to shoot the light tank but uh, doesn't quite get an aiming shot. 5 4 is the score. He's on one kill. 173 damage. 173 damage might not sound like much, but. When you're bringing in 160 hit points into the game, it's probably probably not too bad. The uh, M2 medium tank looks like he's going for the cap now, and also firing on the cruiser. Now these are you might see some. Uh, I, I've, I do mention this a little bit when I'm talking about the Australian server. The Australian and the Latin American servers both have uh, bots to make up the numbers in the in the in the matchmaking lineup, and the bots can be sighted by these little little uh, little tank icons next to their in-game names. Also a colon either end of the, the text part of their in-game names, and they're not that hard to fight against. Every now and then, they, they do better than players, but uh, they're, they're not not known for their um, their skill levels. Anyway, Lee Sai from PB Catland in the SU-76I uh, SU or L, I'm not too sure. I've got a feeling it's an L, but I might be wrong. Um, they're down by two tanks, 7-9. He's clubbing it down at Tier 3. He'll be the first to admit, yep, I'm doing it, I'm clubbing it, and... Um, Looks like there's some players on the enemy team who are, who are maybe doing the same thing. The enemy team looks like they're rolling up the banana road now in um, in Himmelsdorf. Aiming towards, that's one of the bots there. This could be a kill shot. No, he doesn't penetrate. The uh, the FCM, there's, a, there's another small tank, the PZ-35T. Gets him for 105 hit points. 7-9 is the score. He's down there at Tier 3, get, look, getting ready to carry. There's, there's JP Kiwi. He's part of 1ARM. Part of the 1AR family is about to get sent back to the garage, though, as Lee Sai picks up kill number 3 and brings the score back to 8-9. Now, even though he might be down by a tank, he's the only real player left in this game. The enemy team have got two players left. The Chi Ha at Tier 3 and the T-116, which I think is another premium light tank um, Russian I think that uh, that was maybe given away as part of some kind of promotion not too long ago I'm pretty sure there's one in my garage but I can't say that I've ever taken it out shoots and kills the Chi Ha for his fourth kill and that brings the score up to 9-10 and um, only one real player left on the enemy team and it's the T116 which is turning around to face now you can see on the mini map the T116 coming down that hill coming down the hill on Himmelsdorf heading for that cruiser 3 you can hear some firing He's being followed by a, by one of the bots, another cruiser, and uh, this cruiser here is, is trying to shoot at the uh, he's trying to shoot at the, uh, the the T116. He shoots, he auto aims, gets him for what was that? 169 shoots him again, even to score up 10 apiece, and that's five kills. Five kills, 860 hit points of damage done, um, and he's in he's in this. It's a premium. I think it's a premium premium Russian TD at tier three, and I tell you what, it looks pretty good. He's he's been hit once, I think, and um, he lost a little bit of health. Auto aims on the PZ35, shoots him with HE, doesn't do much, shoots him again. That time it gets the kill, and that's his sixth kill. Do you get Top Guns at tier three? Surely you do. I'm not too sure. Anyway, 11 
10 is now the score. Here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a cruiser with my name. He's not, he's got, where do they get these real names from? What are you talking about? This is a, there's only tier twos left, and this should be easy pickings for Lee Sai from PBCAC. Looking at the cruiser, saying, oh, no problem, thank you. One straight in the, uh, in the back of, of the cruiser one with the, Stuart Gillen. Well, maybe we're related. No, relation uh, doesn't work. Like anyway, 12-11 is the score. Lee Sai from PBCAC in the SU 76 L. L I. Someone tell me in the comments. I don't know what it is. I don't have one. I don't think I've got one. I think it's it might be one of the really good ones. Is this one of the really good ones that people keep talking about? Keep saying we want this back into the game. Was that a FCM 36? Was he just crawling against the wall? I'm not sure. Maybe he was. Finds the R35. Now this could be this could be easy. I think he shot him once. He's not even aiming the right direction. Now he is, but it's okay because Lee Sai picks up his eighth kill, and that just leaves the FCM36. I thought that FCM36 was a premium, but I don't think it is. No, I think it's a normal tank now. He's coming around the corner as quick as he can. Let's quicken it up a bit, and uh, here he comes. He's going to get him here. He's got it. He's got him from behind. He's got him on toast here. This is going to be nine kills. Shoots him in the back once, blocks the return shot, so he says no problems. This is easy. Shoots him again for his ninth kill, and it's a comfortable win. In the end, it's a comfortable win, and a good comeback from Lee Sai, 14 11. Let's have a look at the result before we uh, get the next replay ready. Like as mentioned, it's a tier, it's a it's a through the tiers extravaganza, if you like. We're going to have we've got five replays in one video. That was Lee Sai, Lee Sai from PBCAC, Ace Tagger Mastery Badge, Bruiser Medal, Fire for Effect, High Caliber Top Gun, no problems whatsoever. Out club. There must be there was somebody on the enemy team who's who's uh, who's well known for for clubbing it down at tier three. And uh, I remember when Lee Sai sent me the replay, he said, "Oh, we got this guy, we got this guy, no problems whatsoever." One 1,246 hit points of damage in the end. Nine kills, 11.23 base experience. That was enough for an ace. He did um, he did 1,000 hit points more than anybody else on his team. The type um, 2597, the Chi Ha. Maybe, that's, maybe it was a Chi Ha he was talking about on the enemy team who's been outclubbed. 18 shots fired, 16 hit, 14 penned. And, of course, there's, there was HE in there, so... Um, well, that's, HE works differently with the with the results table for penetrations and uh, he even made some coin there. 28,344 credits after tax with a premium account. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad for tier 3, I must say. And um, high caliber and a top gun. No problems whatsoever. Let's move on to our second replay in today's Through the Tears epic extravaganza. This is my old mate Mumbo Italiano. He's no stranger to this channel. And uh, he knows what he's doing on these Italian tanks. He loves it. It's a P43, tier 5 medium. Yes, medium tank. Tier 5 medium tank at tier 5. It looks pretty cool. And he's got uh, the gun. Tell me about the gun. 75 millimeter gun, 110 alpha damage, 118 penetration. That's with standard ammunition, 146 with premium, which is APCR. He's gone into where all the action normally happens on Ensk. He's found a couple of Churchills. And um, I think maybe he doesn't have six cents. He's, um, he's spotted. He's getting some spotting damage on these tanks. I'm thinking quite possibly he doesn't have six cents. I didn't see it go off. Maybe it did. You tell me if it did. I don't think it did. There's the... Uh, oh, he misses the side of the church. The biggest target in the world. Looking for um, looking for some groovy shot. Shoots a Churchill one. Blocks the return shot. Doesn't block the second shot from the Churchill. So he backs off. Finds a DW2. Now this is on the Aussie server as well. You can see there are bots in this team as well. It goes up to tier 5, the bots. The highest tier you'll see bots in is it. You'll see tier 5 bots. That's about all. Um, all through the tiers. Like I mentioned, to make up the numbers on the Aussie server as well as the Latin American server as well. To help the um, help new players or low tier players get to the games. DW2, just saw him angling then. That was one of the bots. So the bots aren't totally um, ignorant, but they, they sometimes they're easier to kill than others. But he was trying to angle, which I think is pretty cool. Shoots the, ch shoots the Churchill in the side. Loses some hit points down though. He's down to 203 hit points of damage. Shoots and kills the T67. And of course, the other, other thing you do see down at tier 5 is a lot of T67 specialists in this game. As I've been trying to three mark some low tier tanks, I've been uh, seeing some as well. 2-2 two -two is the score on ends. 2-2 two is the score on ends. He looks there, finds whatever the hell that is. What is it? It's a... Um, Type 95, a Type 95. You see plenty of those Type 95s at, at low tiers as well when it comes to the bot play. He gets the kill on the Type 95 for his third kill, and now we're winning 5 
two. They were down a little bit, but they won that brawl in the western part of Enska. No problems whatsoever. Mumbo Italiano from DA Clan in the P43. Now, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, um, he only plays Italian tanks. I'm not too sure. Maybe he'll let me know. Mumbo Italiano in the P43 shooting the um, M881. Picks up another kill. That's four kills. 1,778 hit points of damage. He is down to 98 hit points, though. He can't afford to take too many more shots, especially things that might... Uh, you know, there's got to be things at Tier 5 that can one-shot him at 98 hit points, surely. Goes towards the cap, looking around here. Now, he's on four... What did I say? Four kills, 1,778 damage. But he's blocked 970 hit points of damage, which tells me the Tier 5 Italian... Uh, medium tank is probably not too bad when it comes to armor and stuff. 7-3 is a score. There's a little bit of an opportunity there. Puts one. No, he bounces the back of the, whatever the hell that was. Finds the PZ38NA who shouldn't be able to kill him a 98 hit point. Well, no, he blocked him for 140. Maybe he can. Maybe he can kill him. But it looks like the PZ38NA is having trouble penetrating the tier 5 Italian medium tank. And he gives him his fifth kill. 2,118 hit points of damage. 100, uh, 1180 damage blocked by armor, and there's a Valentine, he's just going to kick back here and take his time, try and confirm the Top Gun, oh, it doesn't quite get it, there's four four tanks remaining though, so Top Gun not out of the question, is he on a mission? No, he's not on a mission, but there's the Matilda, wow, I thought that was a kill, three tanks remain, can he get the Top Gun, he's going to fly forward now, looking for these enemy tanks, there's a Chi Nu at tier 5, the M4A1, also at tier 5 and the T34, now they're all real players, so even though the score's 12-5, this game is not over yet because a few of the players on uh, Mumbo Italiano's team, are uh, they're not real. Go for the kill shot to confirm the top gun. Here comes the T-34 looking for a kill. Shoots him for 94 hit points, leaves him on four health. We know it's three hit points more than we need, folks, but that's seven kills. And all of a sudden, maybe a Radley Walters is up for grabs if he can get one more kill. Now the M4A1, is, is he looking Mumbo's way? He's not. There's 12 seconds left on the... Um, 12 seconds left on the cap clock, seven seconds. There goes the M4, he just kicks back there thinking, might as well survive this one. And um, with three seconds left on the cap, they win it with seven kills. Not bad, not too bad at all. Let's have a look at the result before we move on to the next replay. We're going through the tiers in today's epic extravaganza. Five Ace Tanker replays in one video. That was Mumbo Italiano. Mumbo Italiano from DA Clan in the P43. He picked up a mark of excellence for that. That's what that little, it looks like a duck, but it's not. It's not a duck, trust me. It looks like a duck. <laughs> If it looks like a duck, it must be a duck, right? Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Hand of God for surviving and winning the game, having received damage from at least four different enemy tanks. Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof. You've got three bonds for the Steel Wall. It's not bad in a medium tank. High Caliber and, of course, the Top Gun. Of course, he was a medium tank, but he was a top-tier medium tank, so maybe... Maybe a few uh, Tier 4 tanks were shooting him and he was blocking those shots. 2,424 hit points of damage done. 7 kills, 1433 base experience. He fired 34 shots, 29 hit, 27 penned. 24-24 damage, not too bad. 1180 damage blocked, 285 assisted damage, and he even made some credits. 43,500 credits. That's after tax with a standard account. In that game that went for less than 5 minutes. Now it must be said, there must be, it looks like there, he must have got some kind of payout there. Might have been his first uh, win of the day or something because it's um, so he started with 32, but he ended with 43. As far as those credits go, that those um, those games they give um, they give bonuses, right? Sometimes you know, missions and all that kind of stuff. This is the Flying Circus, Flying Circus from Daddy Clan in the Cromwell B, the Cromie B. That's a tank I haven't played for a long time. It's a good looking tank too. He's got a mark of excellence on this bad boy. And if I know the Flying Circus, he's probably trying to um, he's probably trying to put some more. Uh, marks of excellence on the tank. Spots all those tanks. The IS, the VK-36, also the, the OI, I think it is, uh, gets some damaging shots. He has been spotted, though. Shoots the OI again, and this has got the fast firing. It's a, what you might call a pew-pew gun. Now, he's getting some assisted damage because he, uh, he is spotting these tanks. He's in a Tier 7 game. Uh, looks like six Tier 7s on each team. And um, he spotted all those tanks. That's, that's only that's four tanks, but... Um, He's got a lot of backup. That's why he's got into this, this this super aggressive spot. The Cromwell B's pretty fast. He would have got into that spot no problems whatsoever in time to spot those tanks crossing that gap. Um, it's got a good gun, though. It's got a good gun. 75mm gun, 135 alpha damage, 145 penetration. But he's got no standard rounds. He's gone full APCR for the 202 penetration because he's on a mission to mark this, this bad boy. He wants to get marks of excellence on his tank, and that's what a lot of the good players do, right? 
He's on a mission as well. He's on a mission to get a ram kill by destroying an enemy vehicle that's one tier higher by ramming. That's going to be challenging to do, but um, this is a tank that's certainly got the speed. Let's see if he gets it. We'll see if he can get a ram kill on one of these tier 7 tanks so he can get this mission for the Object 260. You can see he doesn't have any missions selected for the um, second lot of personal uh, personal missions. Uh, that could be because he's at a, at a level where you've got to be at... Uh, Higher than tier 6 4. Who knows? 4 1's a score. Flying Circus from Daddy Clan. On one kill, 846 damage, 600 assisted damage. And as mentioned, if he's going for the marks of excellence, that assisted damage is certainly going to help. It's going to help just as much as damage done. Of course, the, the, the marks of excellence calculator, calculator goes by how much damage you do and either spotted or tracked damage. There's a Black Prince there on 1,044 hit points. You'll be thinking, I'd love, I'd love some of those 1,000 hit points. And come on, boys. Somebody get out there and start shooting. Someone's shooting him. He's not getting assisted for it, though, but the Black Prince is likely distracted, and he was hoping to get some more damage. He shoots him again for another 143. He's on 1,263 hit points of damage, folks. 750 is what he brought into this game. It's IKV 90B. Oh my, there's the IKV, which he shoots. Did he shoot him or did he miss him? He did. No, he got some spotting damage into the VK, which is absolutely fantastic. Getting that spotting damage up. He's up to 750 spotting damage. 1387 uh, damage done. Gets hit by the Chiri, though, for 127 hit points. Looking towards the Chiri, thinking that should be easy damage <coughs> with the APCR rounds in this gun. 6 2's a score, so we know about the win. The win is the win should be a foregone conclusion, but uh, he wants to get as many hit points of damage as he can. He's still in this position down here. He's, he's I don't like to say hold down when it comes to a crummy B, but he's using the ridge lines to just poke and shoot, poke and shoot, poke and shoot. That's all he's doing in this thing. It's a, like I mentioned, it's a fast firing gun. What, what was the alpha? 135 alpha damage. There you go. He's getting some hit points into that uh, SU 152. Shoots him a couple of times. Oh, he's feeling lucky. He's feeling lucky. He's probably thinking. He's probably thinking the shell velocity of the SU 152 is pretty slow. He, he probably thinks that uh, he'll be able to see the shell coming and he'll have time to reverse up before the SU 152 shoots. But he does doesn't need to because the SU-152 is killed by him. Flying Circus from Daddy Clan in the Cromwell B kills the SU-152. Steals the glory. He's up to 2,143 hit points of damage. 750 uh, assisted damage. And now, look at this. This is more opportunities to get that fast-firing gun shooting. Doesn't even wait till the gun loads. Keeps his finger on the trigger key to keep that gun firing. That one doesn't penetrate the uh, M4A3 E2 at T6. Either does that one. He'll be thinking, come on, man. Firing, firing premium for crying out loud. Shoot does get him again. Put a couple of blind shots in. That's the way. Still got 32 um, still got 32 um, bullets left. Looking at the IKV 90B. Though. Is he stuck there or is he? No, he's not stuck. He's just trying to hide behind that rock. Does get a shot into him though. Brings his damage up to 2652. 750 assisted damage. It's time to start rolling again. Looking for these last few enemy tanks. Oh, there's the artillery at T6. He can't ram kill the Artie for his mission, but he's certainly going to go for it. He, uh, he's, oh no, the Artie's getting very cheeky. Shoots him once. He's going to take... Oh, he does hit him. He does hit him for 252 hit points. He gets a kill though. Um, gets a kill. Turns back around. Up to nearly 3,000 hit points of damage. Four tanks remain. The A43 at tier 6. The E25, which would be... This would be a good one to get his get his ram kill for the mission, but I think the E25's a bit too far away. And the E25's now stuck between the SU-100 and the Black Prince. He finds the uh, the A43, though. Shoots and misses, but um, you'd think he'd be spotting the tier 6 Russian medium tank. So he'll be hoping for some assisted damage to help his mark of excellence. He starts picking the map saying, come on, boys, there's 524 hit points on that tank. Let's go get him. The A43 on his team is on board. He finds Artie, auto-aims and shoots. Doesn't land the first shot. Second shot? No, it doesn't land the second shot either. Muzzle circle jerk this guy. Gets the assisted damage on the artillery, though, I think. Yes, he did. And um, oh, he gets hit by that A43 a couple of times. Takes it down to 15 hit points. And look, he's gonna he's gonna go for him. He's backing out. No, he's behind the rock. The um, Churchill gets that kill. And in the end, he ends up with 3,200 hit points of damage. Not too bad. Not too bad, Stewie. That's absolutely fantastic. Confirms the win. Picks up an ace on his way to the second mark of excellence. That's what he's put on the title. That's just to to, to, to let people know. That's why it was full gold spam, folks. That's why it was full gold spam. We don't um we don't judge though. That's okay. Flying Circus from Dirty Clan. Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Bruiser Medal for doing some internal 
um, modular and crew member damage. Fire for effect. He got some bonds. Confederate, he shot more tanks than anybody else. Of course he shot more tanks than anybody else. He didn't stop shooting all game long. Well, it seemed like it anyway. He was having a ripper. High caliber for doing more than 20% of the hit points. 3,200 hit points of damage exactly. Three kills. 1442. Base experience. He fired 40 shots, only 30 hit. There were some blind shots, though, so don't judge him for that one. 25 pen, and we saw a couple of bounce on that M4, um, but there must have been some other ones as well. The um, 3,200 damage, 950 assisted damage, which will help with the mark. It did cost him a few credits, though, 35,000 credits, which is to be expected, firing full gold. Um, didn't see if he was using um, uh, consumables. But uh, if he was, then he's paid. He's paid from half price, which is which is the right thing to do. On the road to the second mark of excellence, for sure, he's going to get that second mark of excellence before you know it. That's for sure. Well done, Flying Circus from Daddy Clan. What an absolute ripper. Here's another one from Daddy Clan. This is the Huntsman. Huntsman in the Type 62, the Tier 7 Premium Chinese light tank. It looks pretty cool. It looks like he's got the very, he's got the cool, he's got the cool camo on it. You can't see it now because he's, he's in sniper mode. But the camo on this bad boy, I think it's a, maybe a Clan Wars camo, or maybe it was a one of the giveaways. Finds the, oh, misses that shot, misses that shot on the, what is that the Patriot? I think it was. The, and the AMX 1375 did have him spotted. He, he might still be spotted. Artillery did splash him, but he didn't uh, lose any hit points. He did use his first aid kit though to um, to unstun his crew. Is he on a mission? He's on a mission to do 12 damaging shots. Three kills to get it with honours. He might be able to do this in this game. Let's see. Um, he's got, uh, I think he's already got a mark of excellence. I think he does. <coughs> he does. Look at that camo though. That camo is fantastic. I've seen this camo before and commented and somebody's messaging me telling me exactly what kind of camo it is. It's, uh, it looks amazing. I reckon it does anyway. Anyway, the Huntsman from Daddy Clan in the Type 62 finds the side of a King Tiger and says... Thanks, man. Shoots the side of the King Tiger. Gets some assisted damage. And uh, we spoke of missions. You need to do 12 damaging shots. This is for the uh, Shamira. 12 damaging shots. He's shot him twice. And um, that is, he's, in, he's in a terrible position, that King Tiger. He's, he's, so, he's caught so far in the wrong place. It's not funny. Shoots him again. And artillery artillery kicks up the picks up the kill and that's 1-0 in this game. Huntsman from Daddy Clan, 743 hit points of damage done so far, 557 assisted damage, make that 700 assisted damage. He's got heat loaded which is premium ammunition on this tank, 180 damage, 220 penetration, that's with premium, uh, standard is 145. He's got Chinese food there running there, improved combat rations and that's going to help his reload time, his aim time, vision, all that kind of stuff which I talk about all the time. And personally, I think it's a fantastic idea to run food on light tanks. Vision is key in a light tank, right? And um, that's going to help with your vision. It's as simple as that. One zip is the score. He's on a mission. He's on a mission to do 12 damaging shots. He's already done four. He's also on a mission to track three different tanks. That's for his uh, Object 260 mission. I'm not, talking, I'm not sure if he's going to get these missions. We'll see. But um, we'll see how we go. Running around the eastern flank of... What's this map called again? Glacier. Uninventive name for a map if you ask me. Three ones a score as the FB4202 gets taken out of the game. But uh, he's spotting some tanks here. Finds a Scorpion G. Doesn't get spotted himself. See, that's what I mean about running food for your vision. That food not only helps him helped him spot that um, the Scorpion and the Carnarvon and the, what? KV4? What the hell is a Carnarvon and a KV4 doing all the way back there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What can I say? What can I say? Shit happens in this game, right? Tries to auto aim on the T. Oh, gets hit from the hit in the rear by a Chi Re. Think, oh, that Chi Re's not spotted. Yes, he is spotted. He wants to put those rocks between him and the tier seven Japanese medium tank. Four twos to score as the Panther goes down. Four two Huntsman from Daddy Clan in the Type sixty two. The tier seven premium Chinese medium tank auto aims and shoots the Chi Re once for one hundred and seventy three hit points. That's going to help his mission. Runs over these little canoes there, shoots him again for the kill, and that brings the score back to 6-3. One kill to Huntsman from Daddy Clan. 1,016 damage done, 2,651 assisted damage. He's already also blocked a little bit, which isn't too bad, in a light tank. He's on a mission to do 12 damaging shots, and he's halfway there. He's also on a mission to do some... He's also on a mission to do some tracking shots. Finds artillery, finds a KV-4. I think the KV-4 may be AFK. Just looking at where he is. Artillery just fired. Is he getting assisted damage for this? I hope so. He deserves it. He's right up the front. 
of this of this um, of this battle. Doesn't quite land the shot on the KV2 that time, but he picks up some more assisted damage. Up to three and a half thousand assisted damage now. Having a great time on Glacier. The friendly tank goes down, the T29 goes down, artillery and the Progetto get killed. Did he, did he just track that one for the mission? Let's have a look. Did he get that? He didn't get uh, he hasn't had any tracking shots yet for that mission, but he is also on a mission to do 12 damaging shots, and I reckon I reckon he's going to get it, he's up to 8, there's only 4 tanks remaining though, the Scorpion G last spotted up there at A0 right in the corner also the Striv, oh he shoots and misses the Striv, what, how the hell that, how did that happen he says shoots him that time for the kill, that's his second kill in this game, 12-5 is the score he's got 9 damaging shots that we know about 15-53 damage done, 130 damage blocked, 4,465 assisted damage as he comes around the uh, looking for these last remaining tanks he's, he's hungry he's hungry for some more damaging shots he only needs three two of them are already and one's a scorpion g looking in the corner this is the only place left that hasn't been found they're all going to be here hopefully nobody blows him away he's down to 290 hit points the scorpion certainly could um the, the scorpion could one shot him, no problems whatsoever. There's a bit of argy bargy there. He's done needs two more damaging shots. One more damaging shot for this mission. He's going for the oh, he misses out by one. Misses the mission by one damaging shot. But still, wait till you see the result in this game. Wait till you wait till you see the result. This one is an absolute ripper. Here's the result. Not only is it an ace tanker mastery badge, but it's his second mark of excellence. We suspected that. You probably suspected it when you saw me look at that one mark of excellence on his gun barrel. Um, he, two marks of excellence on this bad boy. That's why he was using the heat and, of course, using the Chinese food, using the, the premium consumable is always going to help when you're going for those marks of excellence. Now, the reason this replay, you can see up there, it's, it's a little bit higher than, uh, than normal is because to see all these tanks that he spotted and he damaged, you look at the, all these tanks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 out of the 15 tanks. I'm guessing it was a 15 versus 15 game. 14 tanks he spotted, did damage to, killed or damaged. That's not bad, not too bad at all. Second mark of excellence, you got the spotter medal, fire for effect, got bonds for the scout medal, as well as the patrol duty. Um, 1,909 hit points of damage with three kills. 1,733 base experience. That's not the that's the base score, and I know I say this a bit, but you know, I realise it's 1,200 is when you normally get an ace tanker mastery badge on this score. This is 1,733. 1,733 base experience. You fired 19 shots, 13 hit and 11 penned, which isn't bad. You got 2,000 damage, 11 penned, only one short for that mission five and a half thousand assisted damage that's where he that's where he got the second mark of excellence for five and a half thousand assisted damage and the best part about assisted damage is you don't need to pay for your bullets you don't need to pay for your bullets at all he still made seventy thousand credits in that game that's after tax with a premium account um there was a personal reserve for sixty thousand it looks like he's paying full price for his consumables we don't like to see that do we we hate it but um never mind flying circus sorry flying circus huntsman from daddy clan Having an absolute ripper, let's get on to our fifth and final game. This is me old mate Swizz. Swizz the Nomad from Amihi Clan. He's platooned up with Drunk Monkey. We saw Drunk Monkey just the other day in his in his Progetto. Swizz the Nomad in the TL1 LPC. The TL1 LPC. The little fly tank. Little fly for a white guy tank. Now I enjoyed this tank. I had this as a rental as he gets the kill on the Lynx. I had this as a rental. I think it looks fantastic. It looks good. It's got the offspring written on there. It's got the, it's got the, um, I don't know. It's got the, what do you call it? The drums and all that kind of stuff. It looks cool. It looks cool. It's like, a, it reminds me of a cross. It's a cross between, well, the way I look at it, it looks like a cross between a pattern and also a, a cross between a pattern and an FV4202. It's a little bit, it's got that, uh, it's a little bit flatter uh, than a pattern. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. Anyway, he's got the heat loaded. He's also got the Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola. Maybe he's going for marks of excellence as well. Um, he's got the Coca-Cola for his view range, his reload time and all that kind of stuff. He's got the heat loaded. It's a 90mm gun, 280 alpha damage, which isn't too bad. 280 alpha is pretty good for a tier 8 medium tank. 280 penetration. Now, that's with premium. 208 with standard, which is AP. So here's the Nomad, platooning up with Drunk Monkey. Looks like the four side shots. 
on the Centurion 7 1. Shoots him once. Is he going to get another shot into him? I think he will. Shoots him again. Uh, is he on a mission? He's on a mission to do damage to TDs. Not sure if he's going to do that in this game and uh, to block five shots. Oh, well, maybe. He might, he might block five shots. We'll see. It is a tier 10 game and he is in a tier 8 medium tank. So maybe this game's not going to be about the mission. This game's going to be about the carry potential of the TL1 LPC. I, for one, hope they resell it. I reckon I'll rebuy it. I like the. It looks cool, but. People who, who, who buy tanks because they're good may disagree with me. Maybe it's not that good. But I reckon it looks pretty cool. It's got the drum kit on the back. You know, what other tanks can do that? There's Drunk Monkey. He's got, his, he's, got the, he's got the same one. And here comes an ISM. Once again, don't take my advice when it comes to what tanks look good. I like the Rum Panzer, for crying out loud. Four ones a score as he puts one into the... Was that the Centurion 7-1? I think it was. He's already got 1,000 assisted damage. 1,363 damage done. Shooting towards the Centurion 7-1. That was actually... I think that was Drunk Monkey. Just just, just above him. Shoot, because when your platoon mate does damage, it comes up in that uh, similar colour. Looking at the Waffentrager Alf Panzer 4 at tier 9. Continuing with the heat rounds. Four threes a score as the IS-3, the T-30. Now it's 4-4 four four as the LT-432 gets taken out of the game. Finds the ISM. The ISM... Not looking in the right direction, so he shoots him once, takes him down to 523 hit points, brings his damage up to 1900, and uh, gets some more assisted damage. Hey, there you go. He blocks a shot from the ISN, ISM, and now he knows he's going to beat you on the reload more than once, probably. Looking for a there you go. Gets himself a kill. That's his second kill of this game. 7 5 to score. 2425 damage done. 1087 assisted damage. We knew an arty round was coming. Unstuns his crew with a quick tap of the 5 key. And uh, fixes his track, but there, there's two artilleries in this. Is the other one going to shoot him as well? The uh, who knows? Seven five is the score. There's a camping M103. Did we see that? Earlier? No, we didn't. Centurion seven one shoots him again. I can't say I blame him. He's been shooting that seven one all day. The thirteen ninety. Hopefully, he's going to spot that Centurion seven one. Where's the Nomad? Is no dummy. He's got in between these rocks so that that Centurion can no longer shoot him. Continued to aim into the side of the M103. Not sure if that one went through. 361 damage from the M103. The M103 is aiming his way. Pulls back. He's down to 360. So if that, that M103 can certainly one-shot him. The TS5 could probably one-shot him. The Super Conqueror probably can as well. The Super Conqueror on 1500. He decides that's the one I want to shoot. Continues with the heat rounds. Nine sevens a score. Let's go for another kill, shall I? Three kills to squeeze the Nomad from TL. From Mihi Clan in the TL1 LPC, the little pretty fly for a white guy tank. Um, <laughs> he's having a great time on Corellia, looking to looking to to get bum shots into the Super Conqueror, for lack of a better word. Shoots him once, sticking with the heat rounds, and uh, shoots him once. He's just going to get it. going to get him again. He does. He gets the kill, and that's kill number four. I told you the pretty fly tank was pretty cool. Pretty fly for a white guy. So the Nomad in the TL1 LPC, the Offspring tank. It's an absolute ripper. I like it anyway. I reckon it looks pretty cool. 11 9, through only four tanks remain. There's two artilleries, a GWE 100, and the SU 14 2, tier 8 and tier 10. The Mauskin and the Waffentrager Alpha Panzer 4. The Mauskin was last spotted up there at A4. Now, he could have. That Super Conqueror is probably looking a little bit nervous. In fact, I would hesitate to say maybe. Maybe the Super Conqueror, who's out of out of render range, maybe he's thinking, I better get out of here because that Mauskin could be coming my way. Swizz, though. Is looking for the artist. There's one of them. Shoots him once. Sticking with heat rounds again. Not not bothering to go back to the AP rounds for the artillery. Shoots the SU 14-2. Shoots him once. He's gonna. Is this gonna be enough for a kill? It is. That's his fifth kill of this game. And all of a sudden, the top guns up for grabs. 360 hit points left up his sleeve. 4,309 hit points of damage done so far. 390. Um, Damage blocked by armor, 1,094 assisted damage. Kicking back here, staying um, sort of hold down, looking at the Waffentrager Alf Panzer IV, hoping that um, his platoon mate kills him, which he does, because he's probably thinking that he might have been uh, looking his way. Shoots a GW once, takes him down to 312 hit points. He's going to shoot him again. He doesn't have enough to. He leaves him on one hit point. Oh, I'd be going for the ram. Is he? Is he going for the ram? No, he'll just wait till the gun's reloaded. Shoots him for the top gun, and that is a win. 15 to 9. Who says you can't do well when you're bottom tier? Who says you can't do well when you're bottom tier? In a tier 8 tank, in a tier 10 game. There were um, there were a few tier, tier 10 tanks in that one. The pretty fly for a pretty fly ace, he calls that one. That's Swizz. Swizz the Nomad from Mihi Clan. What an absolute legend. Ace tanker mastery badge. Spotter medal. 
Bruiser, duelist, five for effect. He got some bonds for the Pascucci's medal for killing those two artilleries. High caliber, and of course a top gun for getting six kills. 5,167 hit points of damage in the end. Six kills, 1729, base experience. Uh, he fired 28 shots, 23 hit, 21 penned. A little bit sniped, got some assisted damage, nearly 1,600 assisted damage. And Drunk Monkey had a pretty good game too with 2,000 hit points of damage. How did he go with the credit? He made credits, even though... Uh, even though it looks like he's paying full price for his consumables. Mm, maybe. Or maybe he's paying full price for some of his consumables. Um, 22861 after tax with a premium account. He made 100000 but uh, the ammunition cost 120 But it looks like he got a bit of a bonus there from uh, a personal mission or a, or, a, or some kind of mission that was happening. Um, not too bad. Swizz the Nomad from me here, clan. Going full heat in a tier 10 game in a pretty fly for a white guy tank. Huntsman from Daddy Clan on his second mark of excellence in the Type 62, the Tier 7 Premium Chinese Medium Tank. Flying Circus, his platoon mate going for it in the Cromwell B. Mumbo Italiano with a P43 and my old mate Lasai in the SU-16. Is it an L? Is it an I? I don't know. Um, once again, thanks for all the replays, lads. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time. Mm-hmm.